Welcome to r slash choosing beggars, where free is always too expensive. Are you still selling the iPhone? Yes, I am. When can I come get it? I should be free to meet up somewhere tomorrow. What side of the city are you? South. There's a Starbucks on Southport Road. Or I can come to your house. Starbucks would be great. I don't usually give out my address. Lol, because you're a woman, lol. Just don't really want strangers coming to my house. Silly. So what time at the Starbucks? To be honest, it's so silly the way you women are about men. There's no reason to be scared of men and avoiding giving out your address. You can trust me, I'm a nice guy. It's not personal. I don't want anyone I don't know, a man or a woman, having my address. So what time would be good? Just ridiculous the way things have become. The whole feminist movement has really made men the bad guys. When in reality, it's the woman that is fearing nothing. Actually, you are safe and women don't experience the harassment they claim. It's all BS to make me look bad. Dude, do you want the iPhone or no? I don't know what you're going on about. You're mansplaining that women have no reason to fear? What? I'm just taking the opportunity to educate women about the reality of the world. The fear is in their heads. I'm a nice guy, nothing to fear. Okay, I'm assuming you don't want it. What are you going on about? Do you have a boyfriend by chance? That proves not all men are bad. You're cute by the way. You can trust me, for real. Nothing to fear. Hello? Where did you go? See, this is the problem. Here is a perfectly nice guy trying to explain to you the reality of life. Trying to show you that your fear is the only threat to yourself and other women. Stop fearing rape and things and you'll stop attracting the bad energy. Let me come over and you'll see I won't rape you. Then you can trust men. Are you trolling me? Is this real? No, I'm just tired of women saying they'll be raped or whatever. It's not a thing. It actually very rarely happens, but women lie. A lot. I bet if I showed you the thick hot dog in my pants, you'd change your mind. And want to be raped. Like you sluts. Just die. Stop ignoring me. You women ignore nice guys when they cross your path. Could have sold the phone and met a nice man, but no. You and your stuck up ways. Can't wait until this BS female Nazi stuff is over. Go die, whore. I love when the stuck up jerks weed themselves out. Makes it easy for us guys. Gumdrop. Sorry, didn't mean to send. Have a good night, trash. <laughs> what on? So this guy's argument was literally, tell me where you live so I can prove that I'm good by not raping you. And if you don't, you should go die because you're a worthless woman. See, you've got nothing to fear. I'm a nice guy. Selling custom scooter for 400 bucks. Cool, is $25 okay? It was 800 brand new. Bro, all it is is metal and plastic and rubber put together. 25 is more than enough. Seriously, dude? $25 is more than enough. You're a pedophile scamming children. What? I'd love to see that logic applied to like a car dealership. Hey, so that Mercedes Benz is basically just metal and rubber and plastic put together. I'll give you 50 bucks for it. And if you don't, I'm reporting you to the police for being a pedophile. Hi. Hiya. Give me a game, Fallout 4, please. You want a game? Yes. Why should I give you a game? Because you are my friend. Then if that's the case, get me a game. F you, jerk. And on that note, if you consider yourself to be my friend, please subscribe to this channel and hit that like button. The YouTube algorithm really likes it when people hit the like button, so please hit that like button because it really helps me out.
My brother's wife, my sister-in-law, is pregnant with their first child and had a baby shower over the weekend. I wasn't invited to the shower, but my brother sent me a gift registry. I didn't buy anything because I'm not invited, so why should I buy a gift? My sister-in-law asked me what I got for her on Monday after the shower, and I said I'm not getting anything. She teared up and asked me why. I simply said that I wasn't invited, so I didn't think I needed to buy a gift. I did buy a congratulations on your baby card for them. My brother is angry at me and my sister-in-law is apparently really upset. Sister-in-law and I don't get along at all, so they think I'm doing this to be rude and retaliatory. I think it's rude to not invite guests to your baby shower, but still expect them to get you a gift. My brother says I'm immediate family, so the etiquette rules don't apply and I should not have said it so bluntly to his wife's face. I said I'm happy for him and his wife, but I'm not getting a gift for them. Then I hung up. Wait, so if being family means the etiquette is that you have to buy a gift, shouldn't being family also mean that the etiquette is that you should automatically get an invite? I went to Walmart to get lunch meat and items for the week. As I went to pay, the lady in front of me didn't have enough money to pay for groceries. So I told the cashier I would pay her balance. The lady customer thanked me and asked if she could pick up some other items she needed since I was paying for them. I told her sorry, that I was in a hurry, that was why I paid for her things and mine. She got mad at me and said, I see how you people are. Hey, here's a pro tip for you lady. The next time someone offers to buy you something, wait until after they buy it before you insult them. Hello, I would need to talk to you about the seeds, please. Hello, I saw you accepted the invitation. Are you ready to talk? Hi, mate. What's up? You sent me seeds on your Reddit post, but it doesn't grow. Oh, right. Did you remember to add soil and water and thyme? Yes, I planted them. Water, no. It has been raining. It is over a month, well over since I planted them, and nothing. I'm sorry to hear that. I can send more if you want to try again. Can you come and see it? You mean come and look? At the soil? Not sure how it would help. Mate, are you blank on Reddit? Yes, correct. You sent the seeds in May. My friend, you live in Chichester. That is like 250 miles from my house. Well, you sent me the seeds. I am trying to understand why they didn't grow. I thought you could help. I'm happy to help, mate, but I'm not driving 250 miles to look at some soil without anything growing in it. Well, me and my daughter have worked on this for nothing. I'm not sure what you want me to say, to be honest, mate. I've given these seeds to dozens of people, and this is the first time I've heard nothing grew at all. And then the Choosing Beggar posts a picture of this flower garden. That's my garden. This is how it's meant to grow to look like. Like I said, mate, I'm not sure what you want from me. I can send more seeds, or you may well find stuff comes up next year instead if you wait. Can I plant more seeds? Yeah, I'll send some if you like. No, different ones. Different ones in the same ground. Well, yeah, I guess so. No harm in banging some more on top. Will you pay? Huh, <laughs> what? Will you pay for the seeds? Then the Choosing Beggar posts the same picture again. That's my garden again. Yes, I need seeds to make it look like this. If you can send the money, I will get them. All right, mate, I've got to go, but look out for yourself on Reddit, okay? What? On Reddit? <laughs> Not just on Reddit, but on YouTube, too. I run an ice cream truck on the side to earn cash. Normally, I park in the tourist hotspots during peak hours. Today, a young girl ran up to my truck and told her mother she wanted an ice cream. The mother told her no, as she didn't have any money. The girl was really cute and seemed excited, so I offered the mom a free ice cream as a spur of the moment thing. Girl was happy, mom was happy, I was happy they were happy. After they left, a bogan woman quickly walked up to my truck and said she saw I was giving away ice cream and asked for three hundreds and thousands chocolate ice creams. Hundreds and thousands are a topping. For her kids. I told her I wasn't giving ice cream out and it was just a one-off. 
She was very annoyed at this, as she thought it was unfair that her children were being denied free ice cream when I gave some to that Asian brat, as she put it. Okay, up until now, I'm obviously not the butthole, but I must admit that last comment, along with her entitled attitude, angered me. So I yelled out to a family sitting on the grass if they wanted free ice cream. The kids ran over excitedly, and the parents thanked me. Mrs. Bogan is really worked up now and calling me names. I repeated the act to a family, parents and two kids walking past, and gave them each a freebie. At this point, she stormed off infuriated, and I felt a little happy at how mad I'd made her. OP, that was petty and mean, but in this case, I have to agree, not the butthole. Selling 30 pound sofa. Is it still available? Hello? I'm late to pick up my daughter and I need to know now. Jesus, man, I'm sorry. It's been like five minutes. Yes, it's available. I was late picking up my daughter because of you. I demand a reduction in the price or I'm not taking it. I guess you won't take it then. Tell your daughter I'm sorry you're her dad. Hey, sweetheart, I'm sorry I didn't pick you up. I was putting a sofa above your needs and I was waiting on a text message. The jerk face seller told me to tell you that he's sorry that I'm your dad. Yeah, dad, I'm sorry about that too. Hey, bro, saw you play with blank at the blank gig. You are amazing, bro. Hey, I appreciate that, man. Glad you had a good time. No worries, bro. So I'll just get to the point, bro. Listen, in the end of the month, there's a product launch and like a dinner sort of thing, and my band needs a drummer for that show. It's gonna be four sets, around 45 minutes each. I heard you're the best drummer in town to ask. Would you be interested in it? Sounds great, man. I'm not really sure if you've noticed though, but I live in Germany now, so it might be a bit trickier. Have you got a solid date? No worries, bro. You can just fly here, right? Of course, man. Just let me know what dates work for you and we'll work something out. Seeing as you're going to have to fly me out, we can even work something out with the rate. Okay, firstly, I thought you will do this for free. And also, have you seen the cost of a flight from Germany to blank lol? So, let me get this straight. You want me to take time to learn your repertoire, take time off work, Fly down to blank on my own dime to play a commercial gig for absolutely free? Why not, bro? It's the love of music that feeds us, right? Actually, it's the money I earn which I exchange for food that does the trick. Either way, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to decline this offer. It's a really good gig, actually, and I think you're making a big mistake to not do it. Also, you just told me yes, and now you tell me no? It's a little bit unprofessional, bro. Come on. Bro, I already told the band that we are going to have the best drummer playing with us. Come on, bro. I was praying to Jesus that you will say yes, and he answered my prayer, so come on, bro. Like I said, I'm happy to do it if you're willing to fly me down, and I'm happy to give you a good rate because of it. It makes no sense for me to do it for free. It's an absolutely ridiculous offer. Look, I'm going through a divorce and I need this gig, bro. Don't do this to me. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm not doing it for free. Are you heartless? So you think this choosing beggar is going through a divorce because he kept calling his wife bro? Hello? Hey, Jenny, it's Blank. I'm Blank's wife. We met at Colby's and Blank's christening. Hi, yeah, I remember. It was a while ago now. How are you and your family? Good, thanks. Actually, I'm pregnant again, and that's why I'm messaging you. Oh, wow. Big congratulations to you and Blank. You must be so happy. I bet your new baby will be as beautiful as your four boys. Were you messaging because you need a hand with cattle or something? Actually, new baby will be a bit different to the boys. It's a girl. That's amazing. She'll be so protected. As you know, I've got nieces and they're so much fun. You're going to love it. Really stoked for you and blank.
Yeah, I don't need help with cattle, and we're excited too. We want to name her Tilly, but it's come to my attention you have a dog named Tilly, and I'd appreciate you changing the dog's name, lol. Obviously, she can't have the same name as a dog, and we're bound to bump into each other. Yeah, nah, I see. Hey mate, I don't think it's necessary to change my Tilly's name. I don't think you'll ever see her, and I don't think anyone will notice they've got the same name anyway. I can't express how I feel right now. I'm so disappointed and let down in you, Jenny. People say you're a nice person, but I can see you have them tricked. You don't have children. You'll never understand how a mother can love and just want the best for this perfect little person. I'm honestly shocked you're being so heartless and unreasonable. You didn't even consider changing the animal's name for my daughter's future. This is going to impact her life and potentially ruin her confidence and life. Can you imagine growing up having the same name as a mutt? You callously have put me in a terrible position. You are a piece of work and don't deserve your good family. You are ruining a baby's life. Think of what you're doing, Jenny. Your inaction has huge consequence. I'm not going to change Tilly's name, mate. Have a good one and congrats again. No, F you. This isn't over, Jenny. And I'll be talking to Shireen and Glenn about this. She'll be disgusted in you just like I am. You're a disgrace. Please reconsider. What's the big deal of having a baby that's the same name as a dog? To be honest, I'd be honored if someone named their kid after my dog. In fact, I expect each and every one of you to name your kid Yugo after my cute little puppy. And speaking of Yugo, welcome to r slash puppy bloopers. I just started. I just started, dog. I literally sat down to start recording. Yes, work time. This means work o'clock, not play o'clock. Work time. No, not play time. No, that, you're not listening to me. Why are you being so stubborn, poochums? Oh, man. Dog, you're ruining every sentence I say. The mother told her no, as she didn't have any money. The, ah. Uh, dog. Dog. Do you have to do that now? Do you have to, there's there's three floors on this house. You can do this on the ground floor. You can do it upstairs. This is my office. I need to work, dog. Work time. Here, go chase it. I'll throw. You'll get it. Go get it. The mother told her no as, oh, why do I bother, dog? Am I only allowed to work while you're napping? Is that just my life? Is that just my fate? I don't have a choice. 